Hello to all the boys and girls in the world, and those of you who are young at heart, who feel the Christmas spirit deep inside. We are here at Santa Claus Village in Finnish Lapland in Rovaniemi. Rovaniemi is the hometown of Santa Claus. It's a wonderful place, very close to nature. Here you can do plenty of outdoor activities like reindeer rides, snowmobiling, and of course, experiencing the Northern Lights. We are now on the Arctic Circle. This line indicates that at least one day in winter, the sun doesn't rise, and in the summer, there's at least one day where there is no night. I have to say, even though Rovaniemi is on the Arctic Circle, in December and January, there are still three hours of daylight every day. In summer, though, we enjoy almost three months of sunshine and good weather. This is a really important place for Santa Claus, since here he can see how far he must travel to deliver all his gifts. There are so many places that don't appear here, but believe me, he's been everywhere in the world, and among his favorites are the UK, the USA, Ireland, and Australia. We are in the main entrance of the Santa Claus main post office. This place is special since some of his elves work here every day doing really important work organizing and delivering all of the letters, postcards, drawings, and packages that arrive for Santa Claus. We are now in the Santa Claus main post office in Rovaniemi. As I said before, this is a really important place for him since here is where all of the letters and mail sent to Santa from all over the world arrive. Later on in this video, we will see which countries send the most letters to Santa.
Right now, we're in the entrance of one of Santa's secret places, Santa Park. Here's where most of the magic of Santa Claus and his helpers happens. Follow me, and I will show you this wonderful place hidden just inside the mountain. Let's go! There's nothing elves love more than gingerbread. Although normally these cookies are eaten at Christmas, elves can eat them here anytime. Thanks. Let's learn how they're decorated. I'm sure you're wondering how you can become an elf. Of course, like everything else in life, it takes effort, dedication, and going to classes. Even the elves go to school. I'll show you. Here is where all of the elves train for becoming Santa's helpers. It's not a simple task either, it takes time. Santa Claus himself teaches them about everything they need to know to become the best elves and helpers. They learn from geography all the routes Santa Claus takes to deliver his gifts. Languages, very important for communicating with families worldwide. And of course, Santa Claus himself teaches them how to hide very well and keep you from discovering them. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you doing? Fine, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Santa Claus, we are here in your office on the Arctic Circle in Finland. What do children call you here? The Finnish kids and adults. They call me Joulupukki. Santa, how are the busy days in your office? Oh, my busy days. Lot of people and many different nationalities, lot of different cultures and ages. Last month, my youngest visitor was two weeks and the oldest 100 years old. These lovely people keep me busy. So many people visit you here in Lapland. Where do they all come from? Do you get, for example, many visitors from English-speaking countries? We have visitors from all over the world. A lot of media also come here. And let's say there's a television group from Australia, maybe from Sydney, visiting my place. So when the story comes out, then we have people coming here from that country. Since people get inspired by the story, thanks to this media coverage, people decide that now it is time to go to Lapland. Children often wonder about your age. How old are you? One evening I was sitting by my huge fireplace in my old-fashioned rocking chair. I sit there and got the idea to count my age. I started to count how many Christmases I remember. Do you know what happened to me? I counted until 361 and 362 and then... So I fell asleep when I got to about 363. Santa Claus, I love your reindeer. How many do you have? Difficult to say.
because they keep running around all the time. I would say there are nearly as many reindeer as there are stars in the sky. Last but not least, what would you say to all the people around the world who want to visit you in Lapland? You are always welcome. Whichever route you take when you come here, I will wish you all warmly welcome. Thank you so much for letting us visit you here on the Arctic Circle. We wish you farewell. Thank you so, so much. Thank you very much. All the best for you. Remember to be good. Ha, ha, ha.